kids. It's the dead yo. And here we go. Uh, uh, the uh, button check? Yeah, it's a button check. Okay. Smile and wave, boy. Smile and wave. Shout out to uh, Penguins of Madagascar, man. Classic show. Wait. Wait. It's this one. There we go. Yeah, it's a confusing blue. Yeah. Get, make sure I get the right blue. Kirby's got a cute little hat. Yeah, especially with the green outfit, it does look uh, very nice. It, it oh, fits yeah. him. This. Yeah, what can I say about them? Because I feel like I've commentated this set like 1,500 times. So I don't really know what else I could really say about this guy. Oh, Kirby. Oh, Kirby? Kirby got the schmooze. Kirby stepping, bro. For the fans, for the fans. Oh, Kirby, Kirby's one of the big steppers, bro. What are we talking about? That's the only time. Okay, th uh, this is this is the like this is the button check I've ever seen. Okay, and I think we're done. Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna die first? Who's gonna die first? Yo, with the terror oh. at the end. That uh, Excal like grabbing the ledge with hook shot to get to the ground faster was actually so smart. He's pretty insane with that. That's one of the like wholesome button check. Quite the wholesome button check indeed, Bumps. Yeah. No. Good like, vibes here. Here we, here we go, grand finals. Um did we put who's in yeah, Nerd Sedger coming from the loser side, so has to win six times. And Oh yeah, purple. Like I'm gonna repeat what Bashmo basically says. Whenever he commentates one of these sets, right? We don't have a horse in the race. However, what does matter is what gets us home quickly. So <laughs> let's go X <X-Cal. laughs> Even though I'm a quite the supporter of um, Cedric, and this time Palutina is coming out for the, because I'm pretty sure on the last set he did not go Palutina, and Kirby. I will say Kirby did kind of get like pushed. But we'll see. I, I find this to be in <laughs> this, <laughs> this is uh Oh, well, did something happen? For sure to change the stage. Instant? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said if he's going Palatina they're gonna do bands. Yeah. Like that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, these are both ironically, these are both my mains, so it's like It's like picking a favorite child. Basically. My yeah. favorite child is, uh, um, when I'm playing Wi-Fi, my favorite child is, uh, Palutina. Offline, it's Toon Link. That, make, that makes sense. I'm, that's a fair pick. I, yeah, I, I still, can see that. I still do really enjoy playing Palu offline, though. And honestly, like, most of my results at, like, Algonquin and Carlton mainly, like, mainly do come from playing mainly Palu in the bracket. I will say that. Yeah. She's a far easier bracket character than Toon Link. Yeah, but, I... with the exception of Excal, because Excal's like, absurd. Yeah. But different... I am known to have quite the quite the pockets for different characters that I use, especially at, at school tournaments. It's pretty hilarious what I come up with on a weekly basis. Alright. Alright, what song are they going to pick here? Friend of Fire Emblem, Lord of a Dead Empire. I actually don't know that one. Sure. So I'm not gonna act like I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so I can't say anything about it. Palutena versus Toon Link. In my opinion, this is like in Palutena's favor, but again, I don't think XCOW really cares about like the whole matchup floor, the matchup chart here. All right. he cares about is winning. So exactly. Whatever gets the job done is how he's gonna get the job done. Of course, he's gonna adjust to what Palu does, even not if on paper. Palu wins like, and Palu wins this matchup, but I don't think it's like she decimates this matchup. She like, yeah. to me, it's like a plus one kind of thing. I see that. I see Where that. I feel like if you get outplayed, you can lose this matchup. Yeah. But right now, starting it right off with the Palutena bread and butter here. The starting one. Okay, really, this is hilarious. So, oh my I, gosh, a teleport read. So they ban. I can tell the to go ban because. Um, Cedric picked PS2, but now just to go to small battlefield. I'm like, and hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. No upper. Yeah, there's the other upper. And I love how the upper was like bouncing the bomb for him. Alright. Hurricane Fair kill. 
It's like that. That killed at like 80 or something. That move is strong. It, it, it's strong. Like it's deceptively strong too. Like you wouldn't expect it to be like as reliable of a kill compared to another Alright. Oh, right, you didn't tether there. It's a good start for Xcal, but again, if you're if you're Fedric, you have him at 112 back throw, not gonna kill just yet. I think you have to grab him like a bit closer. I mean, right now, no jump call. Oh, that was a great use of the bomb. I love that recovery. No trump opportunity, but the back here gonna take that first stop for Cedric. And yeah, this is Ooh, the teleport cancels. Teleport cancel just to run it to Echo. <laughs> Yeah, Bones, you're not the first person to say that. I'm pretty sure I was playing like friendlies with Quiz, and ironically, he was playing Diddy against me. <laughs> and it's like, you know that the F, uh, that uh, fair is coming after Bomb, and sometimes Boomerang. But sometimes you just jump out of shield into it, and oh my god. god. That up air is okay. also pretty strong as well. Like, I just get the feeling like the debate, when Tooling comes into the debate of best game, Right. Although I feel like there's a stronger debate for Toon Link being the worst of the three links than the best, he still has some really great tools compared to the other two. Right. Like, I find his up air to probably be the best out of the three. Young Link can, Lung Young can make a debate on it, but what the utility that Toon Link gets off of his up air compared to the other two just feels great. Yeah, especially uh, the weak hit too. Yeah, even on weak hit. And sometimes it can combo landing it lingers for quite some time. Right. And I love the late recovery. Oh my, that was close to being a spike. Yeah. Down here, okay, all of your let's be honest, here, all of your downers are questionable. I'm surprised he didn't go for the forward. Oh he was waiting for the boomerang to yeah. hit him back. I would have gotten hit by that. Yeah. hundred percent would have gotten hit by that. Oh my god, that was smart. Dash attack, gonna kill. Ooh, I'm surprised that killed at 148. I think that might have been because I guess if you DI it properly, you can live through Paulo's dash attack until at least like 150, sometimes 160. It also might be a weight thing, but that's the magic number is usually 150 for dash attack. So. But right now, this is just dangerous territory for all. Oh. All oh, the bomb. Cedric almost had the explosive flame until and yeah, oh, and gonna, and no, oh. not dead yet. Great DI from Cedric. And... Okay, I'm probably going to go for like a downer or something. Yeah, Cedric, just got to be really careful and... Ooh. Rage. Yo, V-Cost in chat, bro. Oh, and back here, yeah. Back Yo. up, back up, good to kill. At that percent, at least. The... Hey, you know what? Like, I, I do want to say we miss V-Cost, but then you realize, like, it's Falco, so it's like, we're not really missing Falco, but we do miss V-Cost, but... Shout out to Vcos, bro. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while, man. Good to see you're doing well, or... No kill spark. Yeah, no kill spark, but I get the feeling like... On top of, like, questionable DI, that the back air can kill at, like, past, like, 170, 175. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's, like... Like, I, I don't think Xcal usually will be intentioned of killing, though. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Like... What goes on in the afro mind of Xcal is an enigma, as Patrick would say. Alright. Falco Slander, he's a bottom one character. I agree. <laughs> bottom one? Uh, he's sitting there, he's chilling, having a cup of wine with uh, Little Mac out there. Little Mac and Ganondorf. Like, you're just having this little campfire, like, so how does it feel to be bottom one? That's what Falco's doing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nah, Fal Falco. Fal Falco is... Actually, I do have a question for chat, since... I was debating with a friend on this on Discord. Who do you guys think is better? Falco or Luigi? I, I, it's a weird question, I know, but Falco or Luigi? Like, against each other or like overall? In general, in general. I don't know. I don't know enough about Luigi. My guts is to say Luigi, but I just realized I don't know enough about Luigi, you know? Me personally, I'm on the Falco side of things. I, but, I can see that. I can see that. I can see both sides. But right now, Xcal off to a pretty strongly end. But, oh, here we go. This oh. is. This could be a really good counter pick for um, for Fedric because similar to Falco, 
Palutina, if Palutina's home is Battlefield, she gets a lot of profit out of Battlefield. But, oh, not gonna kill just yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To me, if you don't get that zero to death with Luigi, once you get somebody past 75, I actually think he's like really bad. Because his neutral is not great. He doesn't have that many like really good kill confirms and. Oh my god. The movement. <laughs> the movement. Back air? No. Nice. I'm back air? Oh, yeah. the back air. Great ledge guard opportunity from Cedric there. <laughs> And it's really hard because, like, Excal especially, he mixes up his recovery really well with a balance of the tether, waiting out, or just going down low, and mm -hmm. up air up gonna take the stock. And down air into back, back air. air. That is actually true. That one's new. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah. Yeah, no. He, I agree with Vikas. He's definitely gonna do it soon. Mm -hmm. But right now, Cedric looking good right now. This battlefield pick has seemed like it's working right now. But yo. It, it would be hilarious if this goes to like game five. Cedric does some teleport cancels and just SDs. That would be like the worst way to end the night, but forward air, uh, not gonna take the stock just yet. I feel like we're gonna have a cool grand final. Yeah, but right now XCal kind of saying no to what we're saying right here. He, got, he he wants to go home and yeah I, in on that that's nice arrow yeah. arrow is also pretty good into starting stuff for Toon Link. yeah it's especially since mm -hmm. it's so much slower moving than like yeah and oh it's back here again nice air dodge from Mexico yo that was a dangerous down that could have been the game Question of grabbing lead. Back air, not gonna take it just yet. This is what I mean. Like, it just gets difficult for Palutino to right. close out the stock. And you just don't want to get caught, like, trying to spam Explosive Flame to get the kill because if the opponent sees it coming, they can actually kind of punish you for it. And right now, nice back throw. Explosive Flame is so, has so much end lag on it. Up tilt into up air, not gonna kill just yet. Let's see what Cedric can do here. And ooh, can you get a down air? Never mind. Like that feeling like the best opportunity for Cedric to get a down air. But now you gotta be careful. You're at 110, a forwards, a forward air can kill. Oh, oh Jesus ooh. Christ. Hold on. Ah, oh, not gonna get any ledge guard. And gives up the control to Oh my goodness, God. Explosive flame. Oh god. I think he could have gone for a grab. Yeah, this is kind of scary, oh, and yeah, and bomb, bomb up there. Gonna take it, I'll do it. and we are one game away from the tournament being over with Excal just sweeping. But that was that was still pretty close, honestly. Mm -hmm. There's just some tweaks that Cedric used to make, and it definitely felt like uh, Battlefield was the way to go. I don't know if they're gonna go there again. But yeah, I get the feeling for sure. Yeah, and Smashville, okay. Yeah, now yeah. we're back into a bit more of Toon Link's domain. Where I feel like Smashville and Hollow Bastion. Let me gamble on this game. I'm going all in. All in on who? <laughs> and okay, the Kirby coming in for what could be Cedric's tournament game here now. And Excal, like, you know Excal. He's sticking it out with him. Yeah, going all in on Cedric. So can we see a, not only a reverse 3-0, a reverse 6-0 maybe. 6-0. But here we go, on Smashville for the potential last game here. But for Cedric, you've got to start off strong if you... You can't let Excal get the momentum and start building off of it. Uh, right now, Excal looking pretty comfortable. Oh no, oh no. And oh, this is the issue because now... Forwarder is definitely going to start killing a bit earlier because it's a bit more shallow. KK Rider go crazy, KK Rider is a pretty hard track. Yeah, this song is a really good song. But yeah, Cedric here. I have him at 86. Now, what do you do here? Uh, 
my forward tilt, like, too many forward tilt, oh, and that forward tilt yeah, almost killed, Jesus Christ. XL really trying to call. I think she was waiting for the boomerang to come back down to hit Kirby into that. Okay, yeah, higher ceiling, that's not going to kill this yet, but this is very dangerous territory for Cedric right now. And, ooh, nice cancel with the headers. Or so, like, the way said, uh, I can just avoid oh, all that, and, oh boy. I think we might be going home. I think, like, as Drake said, just hold down, we're going home right now, because from what I saw, is just cooking. It's not over till it's over. That is true, but look at that. Oh, ooh. matching the low recovery with the boots. Now, like you said, anything can happen, and, yo, know, he... If there's anything to happen, it's the thank God I didn't gamble. Right. Hey, because I don't know. I don't know. So it's kind of cooking right now. If you can remain at this like 30 to 50 range and manage to take extra stock, it is very much doable. But that is saying a lot. Right now, it's just like. Let's go. Keeping him at this advantage, and this is like very dangerous for Cedric now. Okay, manages to make it back. Like right now, this is like the first. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Double Scary. Play, not gonna take it. Oh, back here. The yeah. roll catch. Oh no, not back here. Back throw. No back here coming out. Um, and yeah, if you're XCal, you can be patient. Now. You have the lead. You have two games to work with. You don't really need to go for an aggressive option, oh. and that is that is it. That That's was a, a quick grand final, honestly. Good. Clean 3-0 for the man, Excal himself. Again, good stuff to to Cedric.